right today we are out hunting some old houses I'm in the backyard of this one and uh, dug a couple of modern coins but just found this looks like an old pin of some kind it's really neat looks old too can't tell what's on it if there's any writing or anything or what that emblem is but it's really neat hopefully I can find a word or some letters maybe a patent date or something but anyway pretty cool first find there I like that it's neat so maybe there's some more old stuff in the ground here about to go find out all right we're uh, on another different spot now been a rough little go at it these past uh, I don't know couple of hours hour and a half something like that but uh finally got on the board with the wheat it is a 57d i think so it's it's pretty scuzzy looking but i'll take it I'm trying to get that silver out now all right you guys we are back at it on another house permission and i just got my first coin here and it is a weedy It's like a 1919, I believe. It wasn't the best signal in the world. I decided to dig it because it was kind of deep and faint. Sure enough, it turned out to be an old wheat penny. That's awesome. All right, y'all. Next find, an old buckle. Not sure how old that is. Maybe World War II era, but anyway, cool little find. It's got a patent date on the back there. I'll try to scrub that up and see what I can find on it. But anyway, just want to share that. Cool stuff. All right, y'all, just got another relic, like an old little makeup compact little tin thing. Nothing inside of it, unfortunately, but still pretty cool. It shows there's some old stuff here, so I like it. All right, well, you've got an update finally, about three and a half hours into it. Um, it's been struggling pretty much all day long to get on anything other than a few wheats here and there. Um, I got a screaming little dime signal, like 80, 83, 82, about four inches down. Merc! 45, so finally got on the board. That's what we're after right there. We got a little bit of daylight left, so we're gonna hit it pretty hard until the sun goes down and uh, hopefully pull some more of these out of the ground. If we do, we'll share them with you. Hey everybody, Durwood and I are at it again today. We got a house permission. And uh, we just got started a little while ago. And, uh, you know, Doug, our share of modern pocket change. But just started working the sidewalk here. Just got my first weedy. Looks like it's a 1936, I think. Yeah, 1936. It's awesome. In pretty good shape the ground here is really dry and a lot of sand in it so <clears throat> coin should come out looking all right but anyway first old coin for the pocket keep on searching around and see what else we can find and on this uh, little site for about 15 minutes now and just everything modern pretty uh, pretty shallow right now in depth but got a pretty good little signal and uh, about four four or five inches down my first weedy of the day like it's 1941 maybe 40 something yeah anyway on the board let's uh let's start moving them back a little bit older and uh change that copper to silver all right you guys quick update from me no silver or anything yet but i did just get another wheat penny and cannot tell the date on it it could be from the 20s. It looks like it might be 28, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So, but yeah, that's cool. Second week there. All right, guys, Derwood here. Um, it's been probably 15 minutes since I found that wheat, and uh, it's still been just mostly modern uh, kind of surface drops. But I'm walking along, and I get like it's like 87, 88, like six to eight inches. Um, even with the small coal it was just singing my ears off and uh 
So I got big silver in the hole. I'll get that right there. Let's see what we got. To Washington. All right. Let's see if we can get a date. Yep, that's it. 1949. Silver. Silver quarter, boys and girls. All right. Now that is what we are after. That is what we are after right there. All right, good deal. Um, we've got plenty of time left. Uh, hopefully there's many more of these in the ground. If so, we're gonna get them out. <laughs> 